Okay, Pisces. Um, this is your general reading for the last half of September. Uh, did already try to do this once. Um, the video completely disappeared, right? So, um, in that reading, it was like you were tr really not trying to hear it. Like, a uh, situation is like tr calling for your attention. It's like some inner conflict with your head and your heart is what that reading um, showed. And it was like, you should be listening to your heart, uh, taking the sleep of faith or whatever. But um, it, did, it doesn't... It, it was looking like it wasn't seeming logical to you so um and i even used the phrase it's like you're not trying to hear it and then when i went to load your video the shit was gone so um i don't know we're gonna try it again and see if we get a different message today it is sunday so energy is winding down and i have noticed a difference in the energy that is pulled um through the week and through the weekend so um, again, this is for Pisces. It is a general reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is for the last half of September, and it is general, so not everything will resonate with everyone. Um, if it resonates, keep it. If it doesn't, leave it. Also, I will start putting links in the description box to how you can contact me for a personal reading if you resonate with me. It's by donation only, um, so if you have something to give, give it. If you feel like you want to, um, you can do that. If you don't have anything, that's okay. It's good to have an even exchange of energy, but I understand that sometimes people need help and they, they can't... Uh, spare anything or don't have anything and that's okay either way um is fine as long as spirit is leading me to do it like this i will do it uh for as long as i can um also if you want to subscribe you can do that you can't like my videos right now um because i'm like deactivating that or whatever turning that shit off where you can't like it or comment because I, I want people to feel safe and I want to feel safe and I just want people to watch and share and, and be in a safe place where they're not having to deal with some negative bullshit, myself included, because um, we don't need that shit, right? We don't need, we deal with enough negativity and low vibrational beings um, in everyday life that we don't we don't need it where we don't have to have it okay so we'll, we just I deleted that uh. so this is for Pisces for the last half of September All right, so we get this Empress coming out first. All right, she is, I see her as the mother of all things, okay? She has much to do with um, being pregnant, giving birth, giving, um, you know, nurturing. Um, and it's not always like a literal baby. It could be giving birth to new ideas or nurturing things. Um, it's it's not like, it, it can point to getting like actually pregnant and having a baby, but it doesn't always. It also has to do with um, nature. Um, this Five of Swords, this is sort of like a, a victory at all costs. Okay. You get the, the Four of Swords, and, and you got all of these last time. You get the Four of Swords, but you get it coming out in reverse. And I said in the last one that you need, it's like you are working really hard, Pisces, and you need to sit your ass down somewhere. Um, a lot can happen when you're wore out mentally. Um, and physically, you can literally get sick and uh, wear yourself down to um, 
I don't know. It's just not good. It's not good for your mental. It's not good for your physical. Okay. Like a lot of health problems come from, from that. So, um, you know, that's that four of swords coming in reverse. That's a refusal to rest or take a break. Right. Think about some shit. There's some shit you need to look within. Like I said, there's, it's like you're trying to avoid this situation. This came out in the last reading. And then this Nine of Pentacles, all right? This is like an, an abundance, uh, wealth, material wealth usually, all right? She's just like fucking enjoying whatever, chilling in her garden or whatever. So let's see what else we get. Okay. So you get this Ace of Rods coming out, but it comes out in reverse, okay? So... There, there's something going on. Um, there's an opportunity presenting itself, um, like a uh, a creative sort of thing, like a new adventure that you're not wanting to take. It's like this is like what I said last time. It's like this leap of faith that you're not wanting to take five of cups this came out in the last one you've either recently lost something or you're scared that you're going to lose something and this could have to do with children or family in some way all right then you get this uh two of swords all right coming out in reverse so i feel like you have um recently been facing the situation it's like you haven't um there's some sort of a decision here, okay, mental, and it's like you were not wanting to um, entertain it or really look into it, even though that it was, it was a uh, kind of trying to come to the forefront. And recently, I feel like you have, or this last half of September, you will be um, acknowledging that finally. And this five of rods comes out okay so there's some sort of a conflict or a battle um going on here this this, this is a, a competition possibly okay um now it's out confrontation or competition and this could be why you're, you know, you're refusing to rest. Maybe you're competing for what, I don't know, it could be a number of things. But you're, it's like, I feel like you're just overworking yourself, okay? So yeah, you're, you're wealthy, you're, you're all about them coins right now, or whatever's going on in your life, okay? Um, but... It's like you're trying to stay so busy to obtain this thing that you're not. I don't want to say you're not enjoying life because it, it looks like you're you are enjoying. But there's something that needs to happen. Like I said, um, I feel like there's some there's there's a stagnation of growth. You're in this secure environment. OK, um, but that cycle is done it's like you're not um if you stay there you couldn't possibly grow is kind of is what i what i'm feeling for you okay and so you're getting this um the moon underneath this uh nine of pentacles okay so the moon can represent secrets, it can represent intuition, it can represent um, the subconscious and sort of um, things going on in the dark or seeing things or becoming aware of things and being a little scared because you don't quite understand them, okay? And this is what I was saying before, it's like this leap of faith that you're needing to take, but it doesn't seem logical, like it's not quite planned out, okay? So it's... Um, it's not making sense to you. It's like you're you don't under, you don't fully understand it. So it's a little bit scary, okay? And and then you get this two of rods, okay? It's this there's this there is this decision um, for you. You're being called to make this decision. Um, which which way are you going to go, okay? And this ten of rods coming out, but it comes out in reverse, okay? So this is a this is. 
this is an end of a cycle, okay, and it's re it comes out under this, which this is a loss, okay. So there's this end of a cycle, but it's 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 a good end of the cycle because it's like you're 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 going to be able to release some of this um, some of these burdens or some of this weight off of you, okay. So yeah, there's going to be a loss, but it, he's like focused. He's so focused on the loss that he can't see that there's still two cups full behind him. He can't see what he has because he's so focused on what he's losing, okay? And so this could have something to do with a mother or children, okay? It could be um, some form of a creativity or a project, a new new something that was, that was being nurtured that didn't quite work out. Um, or that it, it it could have worked out but it's like it's maxed out its potential it's it's done it's time to move on there's something more for you Pisces um, and it's like you just you're so scared to leave and then out pops this Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse it's like you're this this is a very stable woman she's all about her coins she's very practical she's very like stable and um, able to make ends meet and she she can come about money easily and gracefully okay but she's coming out in reverse so and and underneath this two of swords and this victory at all costs this five of swords so it's like this we know you can make your money we know it's, it's like it's obvious that you can do that um but there's there's something else there's something missing there's something beyond the money okay I don't know if this is this is the lover, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I wouldn't I wouldn't pay so much attention to the signs as the and also the moon. The moon is you, Pisces. But I wouldn't pay so much attention to the signs as the energy, okay? So I mean, yeah, take it into consideration, but don't harp on it too much. Um, the lovers comes out, okay? So this is a this is a very balanced energy. This is a very um it's like, yeah, it, it is like a love between, um, like in a relationship, but it's also um, a love within, a love, a, a balanced love within yourself, okay? A harmony between duality and the masculine and the feminine within yourself, okay? Um, and it's usually a divine. Two of Cups also is like that. But it comes out underneath this Five of Rods and this Four of Swords. So, like I said, you're refusing to rest. You need to sit your ass down somewhere because I'm telling you, um, health problems come whenever you work yourself too hard. Um, and coming out over this Five of Rods where there's this conflict, there's this competition possibly to do with a lover or the love within yourself, okay? And now comes this Nine of Cups. Now this is like all your wishes being fulfilled, okay? And it comes out under this Nine of Pentacles, this Moon, and this Nine of Cups. So, like I said, it's it's obvious that you're you're making your money, okay? I feel like you're you're where you want to be in life financially, okay? But it is time to take the next step. And I feel like you don't want to take the next step because it, you're so secure where you are. But you, you have to step out of your comfort zone. If you don't step out of your comfort zone, if you don't take the next step or make this decision, you can't grow. Okay? So there's this, uh, the emperor comes out okay and this is Aries so um, like you know I said you know I wouldn't take too much into consideration um, now the Emperor is like the ruler of all right he he runs the Kings okay so he's very um, balanced he's very uh, in control Okay, but he could also be controlling. I can't remember if this came out in reverse. I already honestly forgot which way it came out. Um, 
but I feel like I f this is what I'm getting. I feel like if if you're you're ignoring this new adventure, okay? Well, you're not ignoring it. I feel like you're considering it, okay? But it's scary for you to take the leap to make this decision because you don't want to let go of the control that you have, okay? It's like I said, it's like it's not all planned out yet. There's no it doesn't seem logical, but you know in your heart you should do it, but you're scared to do it because it may involve giving up a little bit of control and trusting and putting your faith in a higher power. And I feel like that's very hard for you. I feel like you've worked very hard to be where you're at, okay? And this is why you're not wanting to move beyond this because it's like you're secure and stable possibly for the first time in a long time or the first time ever. I'm not sure which, but there is something holding you back from, from making this leap of faith and I believe it's it's because it's not all thought out. It's not all planned out. Um, it would involve uh, stepping out of your comfort zone, giving up a little bit of this control, and and it just having faith and trust. Okay. Now the high priest or the high priest, I'm sorry, comes out and it comes out in reverse underneath this um, little stack here. So. This, uh, to me, usually points to someone that's wanting to go against the grain, okay? So, like I said, I feel like you are finally acknowledge, acknowledging this um, situation or this calling or this, this next phase, okay? Um, Ace of Swords comes out in reverse, so there's some confusion, okay? Because Ace, Ace of Swords, to me, is all about, like, mental clarity and raw power. Here again, you get that power, that, that control, okay? And you get it underneath this Queen of Pentacles. So, like I said, there's something that is, you're not feeling like you're going to be in complete control or be completely financially secure if you take this next step. Okay, and then you get the world, okay, the world, and you get that coming out underneath the lovers and this confrontation and this this resistance to rest, okay? So what that means to me is there is something you, you have got to realize. First of all, the world is a completed circle, okay? It's something coming full, full circle, okay? But it's also about realizing that there's so much more out there okay it's bigger there's a there's a bigger plan that's you are bigger than the physical world okay and so this is a completed cycle so I'm not sure if this is the love within yourself or an actual relationship I feel like you don't want to rest because I feel like you feel like if you rest you're gonna lose some sort of a battle okay possibly to do with a, a lover okay a, a romantic relationship um, but you need to have faith and realize that this is bigger than the three-dimensional okay the three of cups coming out in reverse almost always points to a um, either a third-party situation in a romantic relationship or an overindulgence okay so um and it's coming out under this nine of cups now nine of cups is all your wishes being fulfilled and a, and a complete state of joy underneath this moon and this nine of pentacles so everything in this role is like your your max like you're it like you're living it up okay but there's possibly some overindulgence here okay like Perhaps you've been given what you've been given to secure you in this next endeavor, okay? But instead, you're just maybe kind of living it up and partying instead of using what you, what, what your creator and what the universe has given you to take your next step in this, this next phase of personal growth, okay?
and the eight of cups comes out but it comes out in reverse so again this is somebody walking away from somebody something some there's there's a, an extreme emotional investment here that is going to it's going to require you to have faith and leave it behind um, but you're not wanting to do that now just because you have to take the next step whatever you're not wanting to leave behind um, or you're scared of possibly whoever is not going to come with you have faith okay because if it's meant for you it'll be with you okay you won't if, if it's meant for you to have you won't lose it so if this is money if this is a business if this is a location if this is like a, a like a move in um, you know property or location uh, like a something like that um, also the world you know the world could be literal travel okay so some of you might be looking for like looking or thinking about making a um, like relocating um, but like I said if this is something that's meant for you you won't lose it so whether it's a person uh, a place or a thing or finances or whatever if it's meant for you you will not lose it okay you need just you need to have faith in something bigger okay and overall you get the high priestess okay now the high priestess is all about intuition okay um, so like I said there is something turning in your gut all right you know it and it may not seem logical for you to take this next step or it may seem I think you can see the logic in it if you want to but it's like you're it's it's uncomfortable because like I said it's stepping out of your comfort zone and it's it's could possibly turn your world upside down for a minute for a minute um, but it this is required this is required for you to take your next uh, step in personal growth okay the the situation that you're in it's reached its max potential okay it's time to go further um, and I think that's kind of like what your reading was about last time. So I feel like you're still dealing with the same shit. But um, now I feel like you're actually entertaining the thought. Like you're more than just it being a thought. Now you're actually really considering it or, you know, looking at it as an actual possibility okay so this is for Pisces for the last half of September Pisces for the last half of September A time of spirit okay and she sits on this lotus okay so this like I said this is this is a state of rest this is a state of meditation this is a state of prayer this is a state of listening to your intuition a state of growth okay a time of spirit realizing that there is something bigger going on for you Pisces okay and it's time to take that next step the signs are with you already Okay, yes, like I said, you know, you've seen, you you know that there is something more out there. There's something holding you back. Like I said, I believe it's um, because you're having to step out of your comfort zone. You don't feel like you will be as secure, um, but you will be. And if you've already seen the signs you need to see to, to do this next step. Now, it's not about seeing it. It's not about, um, there's nothing else that needs to be proven to you. It's just you doing it that's that's all that's left the natural world needs you okay the natural world needs you the natural world needs you to take the next step in your personal growth okay whatever you we all have a part to play okay and I firmly believe that our main role is to be as authentic as we can be or or be authentic period okay and this is how we this is how we change the world for the better you be who you're supposed to be and you be the best you that you can be and people see that and that's what they want and that's what they do that that's how you help release your power 
Yes, release your power. Like this, that's what your whole reading was about. It's time for you to go to the next phase so that you can grow. Pull from this animal deck. I think it's actually called Animal Messages. I, I can't remember. But um, pull a couple cards from here for Pisces for the last half of September. Pisces for the last half of September. Speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. Okay, this seems to point to that... Um, that one stack that had uh, some confrontation going on with you refusing to rest uh, looked like you were in competition with someone and then there was the lovers at the end of that stack um, so for some of you there's possibly some kind of a, a battle or you feel like there's a battle or a competition with um, someone that you love and, uh, you know, defend, defend what you believe to be right, if, you know, but if it's meant for you, it'll come with you or it'll come back to you, okay? Tune into the rhythm of your breath to find stillness and patience. Okay, and, and that's like you got the world card and you got a time for spirit and you got the four of swords in reverse. So there, you're definitely being called to sit your ass down somewhere. Okay, it's time for you to rest. You need to rest. You need to look within. Okay, and you need to um, decide which way you're going to go, okay? I think for some of you, there's um, there might be some hesitation because there are a few ways that you could go, uh, a few different paths that you could go to, um, they will all lead you to this next phase. I don't think you're going to pick the wrong path, but I do think it's time to level up or go to this next phase. You've reached your max potential here where, where you're at. Okay, Pisces, so um, that is your reading for the last half of September. Again, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, so as I get those other videos loaded, do go back and check them out, and I will see you next time. I love you. Namaste.